Amelia. Today we are talking about leg protection on horses. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what I like to do for my horses to protect their legs. I'm gonna show you how to properly wrap their leg. It's a little tricky. There's a lot of debate about whether or not boots or wraps are actually beneficial because some of the scientific research shows that it actually heats up the legs and the tendons, which isn't a good thing. That said, it does offer some protection. So it protects your horse from like, sometimes they'll hit their hoof onto their cannon bone and that can cause them to get a splint or to get cut or something like that. So my favorite thing to use is the Escajon Polar Wraps and the Escajon Liners. The reason that I like to use the liners is because it helps so that the tendon stays a little cooler. If you just put the Polar Wrap directly on, it makes the tendon heat up more. This gives a little more airflow underneath the wrap. So whenever you get Polar Wraps, like I don't understand. Let me know in the comments why they always roll them the wrong way. But when you are rolling up your polo wraps, the way you want to roll them is you want to Velcro your polo wrap to itself and then roll it up like so. We'll see how fast I can do this. Okay, so now I have my polo wrap rolled up. These Escajon ones, it kind of cracks me up. They say inside and outside. So, um, yeah, I'm not really sure. That doesn't help me. Let me know if it helps you. Okay, so then when I go to wrap his legs, what I do is I roll up these little things and then it kind of depends. You can get different sizes in the liners. I like them to be just a little bit longer. And then I just try to make it symmetrically above and below his knee so that it goes like a little above his knee and just a little bit below his fetlock but you only want your wrap to go from just below the knee to just above the fetlock. So it takes practice. These are a little bit harder to do than just the polo wrap themselves. <clears throat> now it's important whenever you wrap that it goes backwards, like on the outside that the direction of the wrap goes back and then on the inside it goes forward. The reason for this is because when you're pulling, you always want to be putting pressure across the cannon bone and not across the tendon. So the next step is I take my polar wrap and I just stick it a little bit under the liner. So you see there's just a few inches under the liner and then I start wrapping. So again, I put a little light tension going towards the back and I try to make my like each um, space be equidistant so that it looks better. So I wrap down and then I wrap to just below the fetlock. So you want to feel for the ergot and then you want your polo to just go right there on the ergot. And then you're just going to work your way back up. A lot of people, I'm not like the best of these, but a lot of people work to have like a perfect little X right there. But again, you just want to have even spacing and then go all the way back up to just underneath your horse's knee joint. You don't want to wrap over the knee joint. And there you go. Okay, so I'll show you on the right front, same thing. Depending on how long your liner is, sometimes I don't roll it up, other times I do. But get all the dirt out from under it wrap it, make sure that it's going back on the, on the outside. I put my polar wrap a little bit underneath of it and then I start wrapping. I pull just a little back when I, on the outside of the cannon bone, I pull just a little bit back with light tension because you don't want them so loose that they fall off when you're riding, obviously. And then back up, I try to make each of these spaces about even and I try to time it so that I end up just below the knee, like so. So that's how I do my wraps. What do you think, Jose? Okay, this is Jose. He's gonna show us how to really do the wraps. He does all the wraps for the videos, just FYI. <laughs> The magic. 
Maybe Amelia can say why he made it. Okay, Jose is the master rapper. He puts us all to shame. Kensington isn't helping. You want to make sure that your horse has their weight on their leg when you do the wrap. Because you want there to be tension on their tendon. Perfect X on the front of the fetlock. Evenly spaced. Don't move, Kensington. If your horse moves around, you can have someone kind of pull on their tail and that will help to keep them steady. Que bonito. Okay, let me know in the comments if you think Jose does better wraps or if I do better wraps. <laughs> That's good. Okay, so after I wrap all four legs, then I also put bell boots on the front. The reason that bell boots help is they help for horses that overreach. So if you have a horse that forages or a horse that sometimes steps on themselves and pulls off their shoe, then bell boots can really, really help with that. So this is just kind of the setup that I use for my horse Kensington. I do sometimes use boots on days that I don't have a lot of time because it's just easier. Um, but if I'm going to like a clinic or a show or I'm doing video, I think these look really nice. And I do think that they help to give him some support and some protection on his tendons. So check out the link below. I'll link that article about boots and wraps for you. I'll also link where you can purchase the Escajon wraps and the liners. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up. Give Kensington a thumbs up for being a good model and subscribe to my channel because I post a new video every single Wednesday.